you know what? I don't know if it's me or if it's like I just shouldn't care about how much money athletes, you know, pay professionals are paid in this day and age. But we all heard the news yesterday or technically in real time Friday. Josh Norman, okay, the guy who had a breakout year in 2015, of course, had that phenomenal season and then had that little pussy fight with Odell Beckham. And you look at it all, the guy had one good season, and you mean to tell me this guy got $75 million? over five years and he's getting 50 of it he's getting two thirds of that money guaranteed mm -mm -mm. big mistake Washington big mistake and I and you think me as a Cowboys fan is afraid of a guy of a punk ass player like Josh Norman you're wrong Josh Norman like uh, I don't know how to say it he's kind of like he was kind of like um, DeMarco Murray, where he had one good year. Granted, maybe Josh Norman had a few okay seasons here and there. Last year was his top of the league year, where he was the best corner, better, even better than Richard Sherman. And a lot, of, of course, a lot of people in this day and age will tell you Richard Sherman's overrated, but that's bullshit. I think Richard Sherman's still a top three corner, but whatever. Um, the way I look at it with Josh Norman, he got too much money for a player that was just enough, did enough to get the job done to then somehow. You know, because he was on the greatest team that last year up till the Super Bowl against Denver. You know, he was just remarkably made his team so amazingly great on defense, okay? It reminds me also like the Miami Dolphins' big mistake signing in Dominican Sue. Granted, I understand it was his first year in his contract. He still got over a hundred plus million dollars over five years for a player that, of course, he's a defensive tackle, but still looked at as one of the NFL's dirtiest players to this day. Am I saying Josh Norman's dirty? Not in any way, shape, or form. But I am saying Josh Norman needs a reality check that, you know, granted, he was a guy that was living on his best friend's couch before he even hit the pros. And what more can I say about the kid? I mean, he's he's young. You know, he's going to be going up against Odell Beckham Jr. twice a season. That's going to be fucking phenomenal. Because I would love to see those two, you know, bitch slap each other. They That wasn't even a fight. Come on, get serious. They were, they were pretty much slapping each other, for God's sake. They weren't even punching all they were doing was like this and this and all this other shit. And it's like, that's not even, whatever. Whatever. Unreal. I'm telling you, both Norman and Beckham, they're both going to get it next year. I think they both will. I think reality will hit these two young men harder than they realize. But... Um, me personally, I don't think it's a good contract. I really don't. I potentially see Washington bailing out his contract in potentially his third, if not his fourth year. I don't know. But apparently, Josh Norman showed he doesn't care about winning. He wanted money. Kind of like DeMarco Murray. Murray didn't care about winning. He just wanted money. Well... You, both you pussies got your money, and now you're on losing teams. So, have fun losing, guys. Leave comments below what you guys think about the Norman signing. Maybe I'm just, you know, not too, like, I'm just so nonchalantly, you know, not even 
caring for the most part simply because I'm a Dallas fan. But Dez will shred him. Watch. You watch. Big X will throw it up on Josh Norman.